Hello again, we've got another UK legal. This is the CRKT Julie. These cost about £26 from Heine. It's a small UK legal carry friction folder and the cutting edge is about maybe an inch and a half, two inches. I haven't bothered to measure it, I just don't see any real value in measuring it because I don't think it really tells you all that much. I feel like it's better just to show you against other knives as well as having it in hand. Um, one or two millimetres difference on a knife, I don't really think makes much of a difference. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at the knife. So, in terms of materials, I'm not entirely sure. I've not really looked into this knife because it's not mine. It's my girlfriend's. It's one that she just went and bought because she liked it. I guess she thought it was cute or something. She's quite fussy with the knives she likes to buy. I think she seems to prefer smaller ones. And she's extremely fussy with the blade shape. But we both quite like the blade shape on this one. Uh, you've almost got a bit of a dagger sort of stiletto look going on, at least in my mind. Uh, it actually looks like some of those, I don't know the name of them, uh, those those small switch blades that Nick Shabazz makes videos on, the California legal ones. Um, I don't remember the name, but it just it just reminds me of little, little things like that. I don't think that's real carbon fibre. Again, I've not checked. It does look quite nice. It does feel kind of... You can, you can feel a texture on it, but overall it's quite smooth. Altogether, I think it's a handsome little knife. Um, you've got a decent size lanyard hole there, which of course is more than big enough to fit paracord in. I find that some lanyard holes are a bit too small to get paracord in. Um, this didn't come with a knife, that's just one that my girlfriend uh, put on it. By the way, this knife came absolutely screaming sharp. I have to say I was really impressed with the factory edge. She's used it quite a bit, and you might be shocked to know um, I'm constantly borrowing it. When I'm in the house, I usually don't keep a knife in my pocket just because it gets annoying, especially if I'm sitting down, and I'm quite a fidgety person. So I end up sitting on the knife, it gets annoying. So uh, yeah, depending on where I am, I'd just ask her to borrow hers because it's, it's sitting on the table beside her. That's if I'm at the other end of the room. Um, we have a pocket clip here which is not reversible and it is tip up only. The knife does fit quite comfortably in the hand, it's not uncomfortable to hold. Now it's obviously not the sort of knife, in my opinion, that you would take camping or to the woods. It seems to me like a sort of a good everyday carry that's not too threatening um, opposed to, as I always like to say, something like this which might upset people a bit more um, this probably wouldn't bother people as much because it's a lot smaller um, it's got a nice bit of belly to it so you definitely get some good cutting done and it's got quite the tip on it but as always if upsetting people or scaring people or whatever is an issue, I always recommend a Swiss Army knife. Uh, yeah, it's a bit longer, but a lot of people know what a Swiss Army knife is. It's a bit easier for them to wrap your head, wrap their head around why you have it. Opposed to something like these, which people might just automatically associate with as a weapon. So yeah, we do have... Uh, a bottle opener on that side. I'm not really sure if any of us has used it yet. I think we might have once or twice, but I don't remember. But I'm sure it would work absolutely fine. And I wouldn't quite go as far as to say it's a discreet bottle opener, but I think they've actually integrated that quite well. Now, in terms of opening it, you can see you've got a jump in on both sides, so you can just, well, really it's whatever's most comfortable to you. I find the easiest way is just to put your thumb here, open it like that, and there you go. It is a double ball detent, so no lock is legal to carry, as well as being a friction folder. So you basically have two separate things holding the knife open. You've got those double ball detents in there somewhere, and you've also got your thumb, and uh, you've also got your finger there holding, holding it open. So I would say all in all, if you're not putting a silly amount of pressure on this knife, it probably is quite a safe option um, for when you can't have a locking knife, which, to be honest, is most of the time, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so you can see it there. It is, it is quite a small knife. It's quite a nice little knife, though. I think it's quite a nice knife for the money. Um, 
I was eyeing it up for about a week after she bought it. I was actually thinking about buying myself one afterwards. When I first seen these on Heine, I kind of thought, nah. But it wasn't until I had it in hand I sort of realised, actually, this is quite a nice knife. But, um, come to think of it, if my girlfriend has one, what's the point in me buying one? But yeah, it is, it is still a nice little knife, especially for the money. Now, the only thing I could really think of that's worth... This is sliding a lot today. The only thing I could really think of that's worth comparing this knife to is this knife. If I can get it out of the sheath. Uh, that's the Black Fox Scal because they're roughly the same size. Um, I've done a video on the Black Fox Scal. It's one of my favourite knives. Um, if you don't like that bright green colour, you can also get it in a black. But the reason that I, I'm comparing the two of them is they're both a friction folder with a bottle opener. Now I prefer the Black Fox Scal. It's, it's lighter. I feel like it's more comfortable. It's easier. Whoops. Throwing it around. Easier to use and it actually folds. It doesn't fold at all once it's in your hand. Whereas this one, even though you've got two mechanisms keeping it open, it does fold a little bit. Although the thickness on this is, well this is really thick for the size of knife. Whereas this one is considerably thinner. I don't think I've really got that much more to say about this knife. As I said, it's not mine, so I've not really played with it a whole lot. Um, but for the money, it's a good, small, inexpensive knife that hopefully shouldn't upset people too much. That said, I wouldn't really want to use it in a public place unless there was no one around. But to be honest, I apply that to all knives. Just before I go, I'll just quickly do a wee comparison. I've basically been doing that throughout this video anyway, but why not? So we'll put the Black Fox Scal back next to it. The Victorian Rocks Huntsman, Sog Terminus, and my Arthur Wright's Sheep's Foot. And I'll just show you them with the blades open before I end the video. I really do like the blade shape on this, but we'll put it this way. Black Fox Scowl. Sog Terminus. Victoria Knox Huntsman. Just to give you an idea what the size is. I mean, most people have a Swiss Army knife, so I just feel like comparing it with one of them is probably more helpful. And my Arthur Wright's sheep's foot anyway i thought hopefully you find that interesting uh thanks for watching and i'll see you later wait just before you go i completely forgot to mention the sort of flicking aspect of this knife remember how i was trying to explain the other ways of opening this knife this is doing this is the main way of opening the knife you can also open it with your pointing finger like this and because of the design of the knife, you can kind of flick it open. Now, it's not really a flipper because you can't just flip it out. I've tried numerous times and it's not something I find particularly difficult to do. I find for me, when I try to do this, because it's a bit small, um, well, my, my finger sort of lands in the bottle opener. But if you do it while flicking your wrist it comes out fairly easily so it is quite a fast opening knife if you want it to be it does take a bit more practice than most other flippable knives I would say but uh, yeah so there's a flip knife if you want to call it that a fast opening knife that is legal to carry um, I will give you a word of caution though, I find that the tip scratches the palm of my hand here almost every time because it's so short and because I have to hold it like this, um, you can see there as soon as it opens it just scratches, scratches the palm. I've never been cut, it doesn't hurt, it's just a slight scratch. Well I didn't do it that time. But um, yeah, you, you kind of have to build it up. To flip it like it's not one of those ones that you're just going to take out your pocket and immediately flick open you kind of have to you, you kind of have to think about it and prepare your hand in the exact right position 
might just be me and the size of my hands, you might get on better. I think someone with smaller hands would probably get on flipping that uh, a lot easier than I would. Anyway, that's it this time. Thanks for watching.